That sample is a mineral. Let's do a streak test and a hardness test to identify it. Exactly! This mineral is so hard that the streak test doesn't work. It leaves behind no color. This mineral is too hard to be scratched by the coin or the pocket knife. Oh boy! This mineral is too hard to be scratched by any of the objects on the geo table. If your test doesn't work, don't worry. You might still be able to identify a mineral, like this quartz. It has a hardness of 7, which is pretty hard, and that's why it didn't leave any color on the street test or get scratched by anything. Another sample? Okay, wash it off. So that sample's a rock. Now let's use the magnifier to find out if it's igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic. Right! This sample is a sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rocks are made up of a bunch of grains that are usually different sizes. Since this rock is sedimentary, there are two things we can do. Test it with vinegar and hit it with the hammer so we can check out the grain size under the magnifier. Right! This sedimentary rock has a mixture of large and small grains. Good work! This rock definitely didn't fizz. Awesome! You just used these tools to identify a conglomerate, a sedimentary rock that doesn't fizz when you drop vinegar on it, and has a mixture of small and large grains. Whoa! Conglomerate was my missing sedimentary rock. Thanks for finding it! Another sample? Okay, wash it off, then find out if it's a rock or mineral by using your magnifier. Look closely at the rock through the magnifying glass. You have three choices. Is it made up of tiny grains? Is it made up of crystals that are connected randomly? Or is it made up of crystals that are lined up neatly in bands? Click on the matching box on the panel below when you think you know the answer. Close, but that's not it. Look at the rock again and click on the correct box when you figure it out. Way to go! This is definitely a metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rocks have crystals that lock together and line up in neat bands. Now that we know this rock is metamorphic, we should use the magnifier to examine its texture. Look at the texture on the panel below and click the matching box. Good work! This metamorphic rock is shiny and has a wavy texture. That means it's schist. Igneous rocks form when magma or lava cools and crystallizes. They're usually found near land volcanoes or at mid-ocean ridges. Arnold's missing igneous rock is obsidian. Can you track it down? Igneous rocks form when magma or lava cools and crystallizes. They're usually found near land volcanoes or at mid-ocean ridges. Arnold's missing igneous rock is obsidian. Can you track it down? Welcome to the Rock Transformer. You can put stuff into the Rock Transformer and see what kind of rock it's made out of, or you can put a rock in and... Wow! You just created Arnold's missing igneous rock, Obsidian. You're pretty impressive. 
Obsidian forms so quickly that crystals don't have time to grow. That's why it looks glassy. Native American arrowheads are made out of obsidian. Bricks are made from shale. Now you get to dress up me and Keisha in whatever outfits you choose. Click on the arrows to make us try on all kinds of hats, shirts, pants, and shoes. What's that machine? It's a tilt meter. It measures bolts in the ground to see whether the melted rock underneath is rising to the surface. Oh, so if the molten rock is rising, we might get to see the volcano erupt. Wow, I can see the crystal. This is a seismograph. It records earthquakes, which can happen under a volcano. Earthquakes? Volcanoes? Yep. If an earthquake happens under a volcano, that means molten rock called magma is rising towards the surface. Then the volcano could erupt. Sometimes animals can tell when a volcano is about to erupt, and they scram. This is such a cool-looking mountain. It's shaped like an upside-down ice cream cone. Like a cone? I think I read that some volcanoes are cone-shaped. Hmm. This is... I've never seen a mountain smoke before. I wonder if it has a cough, too. Igneous rock is made when melted rock cools down. Hey, this mountain's smoking. Some mountains are actually volcanoes, so maybe it will blow. Eruption time! Back to the bus class. Two by two, please. Lava's really cool. Wanda, that lava is melted rock, so it's actually really hot. Wow, I can see the crystals in this rock. How long can we keep all this lava from flowing into the sea? Click on the tip of the lava flow to hit it with water. That'll stop it in its tracks. As you know, I love lava and...